active solutions of high building zero cycle during building in difficult engineering and geological conditions. Problems of ensuring the reliable operation of zero cycle structures, such as groundwork, foundations and above ground parts of high rise buildings occupy a special place in their design and construction. The choice of construction of the foundation of a high rise building should be based on technical and economic analysis and is determined by the structural behavior of the building, soil properties, loads transferred by the building to the foundation, interaction of the building with the Today, among the existing types of foundations for high-rise engineering structures, a significant percentage is occupied by raft foundations for work in special conditions, which are characterized, firstly, by deteriorating engineering and geological conditions, and, secondly, by processes with subsidence of foundations caused by natural and man-made conditions of urban areas. Therefore, special foundation structures are needed that can work in such conditions. The aim of this study is to solve the problem of choosing an effective zero-cycle design that has increased load-bearing capacity and allows the safe design of multi-story buildings in special conditions. The object of research is the application of new design solutions of zero-cycle buildings as a modern approach to engineering protection and construction under special conditions. The subject of research is the elastic deformed state of the system, groundwork, foundation. To achieve this goal the following tasks were solved. Constructive calculations of two variants of foundations for high-rise buildings were carried out. Step-by-step -step modeling of joint work of variants of foundation constructions of high-rise buildings with soil base was performed. The development of uneven deformations and the change of the elastically deformed state of the system, groundwork, foundation, under the influence of adverse physical and mechanical processes. The choice of the design method of the zero cycle allowing safe design of high-rise buildings in special construction conditions is substantiated. The results of engineering and geological surveys are necessary for a reasonable choice of types and sizes of foundations and load-bearing structures of underground parts of a high-rise building. They should contain data taking into account the forecast of changes in engineering geological and hydrogeological conditions and the possible development of harmful processes during the construction and operation of the facility, and also necessary data to assess the impact on the system, basis, foundation of adverse physical and mechanical processes figure 1. A comparison of the usual solid monolithic reinforced concrete raft foundation I option, figure 2, A, with the proposed solid monolithic reinforced concrete slab with a system of crossed beams of different stiffness I A option, figure 2, B. Structural dimensions, length L equals 55. 2M, width B equals 55. 2M in the axis, 52. 8m in both directions, the depth of the foundation minus 6. 4m, the height of the foundation slab minus 1. 2m, option I, from 0 0.6 to 1. 2m, option I. The foundation is designed for construction on a site with a relief value of the design pressure on the base under the sole R equals 0. 2m, pass subsidence soils in the excavated area. Lira Software Package is a multifunctional software package for calculation, research and design of structures for various purposes. The calculations of the foundations under the raft for the most unfavorable combination of loads were performed, the results of which are given in Figure 3, 4, 5. Presented Mosaics of Efforts Q. Presented Mosaics of Efforts F. Presented Mosaics of Efforts RZ and Presented comparison of the results of the calculation of X and QX1. Presented comparison of the results of the calculation of RZ and Z1. At the same time, the obtained research results indicate better quantitative results of the E option of the foundation. Thus, at the stages of modeling with relatively identical total deformations in a conventional slab foundation, option I, there are larger vertical deformation displacements compared to option E of the foundation. 
as a result of a detailed analysis of the technology of foundation construction, six calculation schemes, models of changing the behavior of the foundation slab in accordance with the soil base during the construction of the zero cycle of the building were obtained. Each of the obtained models corresponds to a certain stage. Stage 1, the foundation on the project mark. Stage 2, backfill, reverse, with compacted soil. Stage 3, passing of deformations of the first ledge 13.8 m long under the foundation, 1 4 of the foundation length. Stage 4, passing of deformations of the second ledge 27.6 m long under the foundation, 1 2 of the foundation length. Stage 5, passing of deformations of the third ledge 41.4 m long under the foundation. The following pictures are presented for the first stage of modeling. The following pictures are presented for the first stage of modeling. According. The following pictures are presented for the third stage of modeling. According to. The following pictures are presented for the third stage of modeling. According. The following pictures are presented for the fifth stage of modeling. According to. The following pictures are presented for the fifth stage of modeling, according Presented for the first stage of modeling the graph of displacement Presented for the third stage of modeling the graph of displacements, normal stresses and shear stresses, by options Presented for the fifth stage of modeling the graph of displacements, normal stresses and shear stresses, by options the analysis of the obtained results of step-by-step -step modeling of zero-cycle structures shows the possibility of using both option I and option I of the foundation. The maximum subsidence of all models are within acceptable limits according to current regulations. At the same time, the obtained research results indicate better quantitative results of the I variant of the foundation. Thus, at one, three stages of modeling with relatively identical total deformations in the usual slab foundation, option I, there are larger vertical deformation displacements, compared to the IE version of the foundation. The obtained results can be explained as follows, the flexibility of the slab increases due to the inclusion in the structure of the system of cross beams of different stiffness and accordingly some increase in displacement contributes to a more uniform redistribution of stresses in the structure and some reduction of contact forces in the soil thickness that is, to improve the interoperability of the groundwork foundation system. The results of scientific research indicate the feasibility of using the foundations of high load bearing capacity option e, in special design conditions. Results allowed to draw the following conclusions. 1. The design of the zero cycle in the form of a slab foundation with variable stiffness characteristics of crossed beams rigidly fixed in the slab has a number of advantages. Economic feasibility of the design solution, as the design, even in special design conditions, excludes the device of artificial foundations or piles of deep foundation. Reduction of construction time of the zero cycle structure. Re Thank you for the